So starting in game year 3000 BC, I've got the rankings there, the scores, and I'm not even on the list. It looks like, okay, I'm dead last. There we go. So this is, as I said in an earlier video, basically down to the fact that I don't have a lot of cities yet. I've not built cities, and I also have not built up the city that I have because I want to build up a lot of cities. My score will go up, as you'll see, as this playthrough progresses, although I will stop just past 1 AD, as I have with all my other playthroughs except for Civilization 2. And I, there I've adopted the social policy of honor in the hopes that I can improve my score a little bit, improve my progress a little bit. And there, my score over there on the right looks to have gone up four spaces, just either from that or for whatever reason. 2960 BC. Next turn. Now, of course, I did the go-to command for those spearmen there, so I don't actually have to tell them to move. My workers there have built some farmland. And Rome is still only a level 2 city. Next turn. Huh. I guess I wanted to browse around to see. What I could do before next turn. Okay, next turn. Some more farmland was just constructed and some pantheons have been founded in other societies. I haven't put a lot of effort into developing religion. I think maybe because my real world views on this that it's really not very important, but... It'll come along. We have no okay, my military advisor is begging me for more soldiers because I'm about to change production in Rome. You can found a new city and my Move economic advisor is trying to advise me where to set up a city, a new city because I've just built a settler. Only one military unit. My science advisor is advising me I can only have one unit per tile. That being one of the distinct features of Civilization V. I'm going to build a worker, though. I'm going to go against the professional advice, I think, because unless this granary is better, I basically need even more farmland than I already have, so I'm going to build a worker. Thus far, I haven't encountered too many enemies, so it probably doesn't make sense to pour a lot into the military, because it's just going to drain my resources here. So I have two suggested city sites there. I've opted for the one on the coast, because usually you want coastal cities so that you can build naval units more easily. I'll move my... Spearman up here to explore a little bit more. My science advisor is still up there telling me one unit per tile. So I haven't closed the window there yet. So it looks like I've found a peninsula. So it looks like I've found a peninsula, and then next turn. Pantheon founded. Continue to move up the peninsula in case there's something I'm missing. I don't really know what's beyond the peninsula. So here my settlers are at the city site. So I'll build a city. I guess I'll move these spearmen into place. They haven't really found anything, so I'll choose production for Antium. And Antium needs a worker to build up the land around the city. Although, I'll probably move some workers down there to 
speed things along. Because as you noticed, it'll take 35 turns for those workers to be built, and I'd just rather not wait. For one thing, I want to build another settler's unit. So I'll move my spearmen back to Rome anyway, just in case I need defense in the capital. Because it is getting kind of ridiculous that even the capital doesn't have any defense. So, next turn. Game year 2640 BC. Next turn again. Your settler is alone outside your borders and could be captured. So my I have military advisor is still asking for more units to defend my settler, among other things. I'm still way down the list over there on the upper right. He who I just developed writing. Kills reason itself. So, that's important. As in Civilization 1 and 2, you can establish embassies once you have writing. So now I'll develop mining, which really I should have had from the beginning, because in Civilization 1 you get it from the beginning. But I guess in Civilization 5 they wanted to make it more challenging. So I'll look around before I go to the next turn. Please wait, it says. Next turn. Some more farmland built. Next turn. It is a dangerous so. world. And we are vulnerable to I've got attack. another workers unit. Now I have to choose my production. Because it's the capital, I might as well build a library. Develop the capital's technology a little bit better. And I'll send the workers to Antium as I planned on doing so that they can start building improvements around Antium. And the spearmen are continuing to proceed towards Rome there. Now we can adopt more social policies here. Tradition is best for small empires. Well, I'm a small empire for now, so I might as well adopt it. turn. Finally, I have some defense in the capital there. And my score is up. Now I'm number four. I just developed mining. So, I'll fortify in Rome, which is that shield there without the swords. Choose my research again, and bronze working. It's a good defensive technology, so I might as well have it. Have my workers there. So I might as well automate them, although actually they immediately start heading back to Rome to connect to the two cities, which isn't really what I wanted, but I use automation far more in Civilization 5 than in earlier versions, and in Civilization 4. But that's it for this part. I'll see you in the next part.